different faces challenge is what we're doing today. Um, we're actually on our third Katherine Howard. This is actually Michelle Abra Abrahams or Abrams, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, from the Six Wives of Henry VIII, 2001. I have not seen this and finding stills that actually showed her and were also correctly tagged as her were really, really, it was difficult. For a minute there I was looking at and the woman who plays Catherine Parr is tagged quite a bit, especially like in Google Images as Catherine Howard. I think just Google isn't smart enough to tell the difference, but yeah, it was really hard. I had about four images to work with. None of them was like a full frontal face shot. Like I know from that same it's a movie might be a documentary, I don't know, because I haven't seen it, but like, and the Lynn stills, those were easy to find. Catherine Howard was easy to find, but like, or not Catherine Howard, Catherine Ray are gone. But just finding still shots of Catherine Howard from that was very difficult. I didn't realize how difficult it would be when I made this list, otherwise I might have changed basically choosing her as one of my Catherine Howards, but I really liked her face. She was a little bit different than all the other Catherine Howards in that she actually looks a bit older. Like she doesn't look super duper young, which to me is like kind of a defining character trait of Catherine Howard is she's just very, very young. But I, I kind of liked that. Like and just because somebody is 20 doesn't necessarily mean that they look baby faced and super young. Like I know when I got out of high school, I looked like I was 12, but my best friend probably could have passed for 30 if she wanted to because she just had that poise and presence and there's a lot more to it than just what she looked like, so. In the end, I am glad that I picked her just because I think she turned out to be a very interesting sim. She's kind of got protruding eyes a little bit, like unique brows, a really cool nose, so I'm interested to see when we do the genetic portion what she turns out like. Uh, <laughs> I'm honestly not very sure. I also got super frustrated because like, I have a necklace that's like a cameo necklace and I knew that I did and the costuming on this for whatever reason she's in a chunky cameo necklace which not at all appropriate for the time and place but fine. <laughs> and I couldn't find it. I don't know if I accidentally removed it at some point or what I did but I just I couldn't find it and I was not gonna re-download it just for a sim that I'm probably not going to play, so yeah, or play in this particular look. It's possible that my Catherine Howards are all going to be put towards possibly a bachelor challenge, I'm not really sure. I was going to do a bachelor challenge out of like submitted sims for my medieval color legacy challenge, but I'm not getting as many submissions for that, so which is fine. Like people get busy, some people just don't want to submit a sim. Cool, it's fine. It was just an idea. But instead then I'm like, well, maybe I'll use my Catherine Howards as potential spouses for Sebastian. Because Catherine Howard is the favorite and no, I did not accept criticism. <laughs> Actually, the first time I did this challenge, I was on Catherine of Aragon at the time for different faces. And so one of the spouses that I used was actually Catherine of Aragon. And for the challenge currently, one of the spouses, Rena Devereaux, She's actually a Catherine of Aragon sim, so it's, I've used these different faces sims before, so I might just do that. I might not even do the Bachelor Challenge, I don't know. I forgot that my goal this year was to reach generation four of that challenge, and it is the end of October, so yeah, <laughs> I might just start speeding through that challenge at lightning speed, because I've met all of my other goals for this year. And I know they're kind of arbitrary and it's not a requirement, but it just, it would make me feel really good, especially because the harder goal that I had on that list, which was finishing one round of Adirin, has actually been completed. So I feel like getting to Gen 4, when the air is like a child right now, like a bachelor challenge in that time period. And I don't know if like the videos will come out before the end of the year, but I'll have no, I known like that I finished. So we'll see. I want to try a bachelor challenge though. I've never actually done it and I'm intrigued. So we'll see. This is me looking for a necklace. Yeah, I'm curious if you guys have actually seen this particular, I don't know if it's a movie or a documentary. I think it's a documentary. My notes don't clarify. 
I need to sit down and watch all of these, honestly, but I just haven't had time. I haven't had time. I'm in the middle of packing for another move, because of course I am, and I just don't have time. Also, as a side note, I need more colors this Tudor hood, because it's really aggravating that I only have like two per hair color. But yeah, we're pretty much done, so thank you guys so much for joining me. If you liked the video, definitely give it a like, and I'll see you in the next one.